Okay, this afternoon, as the traffic goes by, we're out here with Mr. Gardner of Hometown to Homestead Gal Gardner, also known as Tim. And he is continuing to work on the do-it-yourself turn a, a uh, utility trailer into a camping trailer. So what are you up to now, Mr. Tim? We're going to put this window in that door. <coughs> Outline with the tape. Looks, looks crooked, but it's straight. Okay. How do you know that? I measured it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and you've got yeah. the door locked up. Yeah, well, I have the door closed so I can push against it. So I got to drill through, I got to cut through the outer aluminum, styrofoam, and the plywood on the inside of the same tool. You want to show us the attributes of this window that you're putting in again? Oh, it's right here. Camper window. Slides open. Get mm -hmm. a little bit in, get a little bit of fresh air in there. A little screen. A little screen slides up. It's a 12 by, it's a 12 by 16. Okay, where'd you get that? Amazon. Good old Amazon. Oh, what else do you need to, uh, I see you got a drill there. Drill a starter hole, and we got to cut a really big hole in the door. Okay, what else, what other tools are you using? That's it, just a little drill on the jigsaw. And... The measuring tape and some blue tape for marking. Oh, blue tape, put tape on the tape on the saw and tape on the house of the door so you don't bar it up too much. Oh, okay. So does it help it go smoother? Yeah, and you don't know, mark up the outside of the door where the, you'll be able to see it. And okay. Then, well show us what you're gonna do there. Cut the hole. We'll get I'm going to the kids out here to help me sit it in there and glue it, silicone it in there, put the trimmer in the inside. And How does the trim ring attach? Screws in the inside. Oh, okay. So you'll show us that one it's time. Yeah. It's got a little, a little channel in here. The screws go from the trim ring to that little channel. Okay. Draws well, it in tight. So do it to it. In theory, you can see how this works. Either that or we're gonna have a big ugly hole in that door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now this hole that you're cutting, how did you get the dimensions for that? Well you trace the the inside lip of the this inside lip right here. Okay. There goes nothing. Sure. Got your safety some dot on. Whoa. <laughs> Gotta put the blade on first. Did you break it? No, I Okay, got the good to go? Yeah. Got the blade chucked back up in there better? Should be. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Maybe, maybe not. Take three. Let's see if the blade stays in this time.
arms getting a little tired. Noisy. Yeah. Huh. Look, you got yourself a little piece of sheet metal if you need it for something. You know what surprises me about this trailer? Huh. Is how well the vinyl of the go kart racers on the side has held up over the years. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. That was a side that got a lot of sun, and that was before everybody was putting vinyl on everything pretty old but it held up pretty good I'm, I'm yeah. kind of surprised <clears throat> does Europa exist anymore yeah yep I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know. I wonder if California stripes are still around yeah Let's shoot it still around. okay so if you're in California those are a couple of good companies to use but back to the window yeah. so what do you think <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut until the next step. Yeah. Okay, what you spraying on there? Is this some brake cleaner? Brake cleaner? Yeah, we make sure this where it seals it's nice and clean. No yeah. greasy? Yeah, it doesn't have any oil or anything on it. And you just did that to the door too? Yeah. So put a bead of silicone around it. Open her up. A chunk of wood, a little chunk of metal, a little chunk of star foam. Yeah. Something for a future project. It came out a lot smoother than I thought it would. Cool. That little piece of wood. Oof, that brake cleaner's strong. That little piece of uh, wood might make a cool little table. Yeah. Why do I want to call that a hooey ring? Like in plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, dog. Our old doggy came out to say hello. Boy, do we have some painting to do in there. Okay, got 
Got the caulking good. What kind of caulk are you using on that? Oh, it's just uh, silicone. It's plain old silicone. It's clear, so clear outdoor silicone. Okay. And where? You, what part are you putting that on? Put it right <clears throat> down in that channel. Yeah, right where it. Come on. You did all gooey. Yeah, right. Where it's gonna meet with the door. Okay. It has a has a foam rubber seal on it already, but foam tends to disintegrate quicker than silicone does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Our seal on here what it really needs. Worst cases, it just won't need as much. Okay. Bringing in the Calvary. We're YouTubing. I see. Do I have my permission? Your permission to show you on my YouTube channel? No. Of course. <laughs> this is the eldest son of the hometown to homestead gal gardener. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Yes, we have that kind of sense of humor around here. When you're putting the silicone on the door itself, too, huh? Yeah, I'll put a little bead on the door. <clears throat> on the out. On the you're gonna do the same on the inside or just on the outside? No, just, just on the outside. Okay. Opening up or down? Opening the Something just bit me hard. That hurt. A little tiny black flying thing. Did you put it up in there? Oh. It's got to have pressure from both sides. No pressure at all. No pressure at all. Gonna have the screws putting the screws to it. Somebody have to have a step ladder to look in that window, huh? We're going to be in an equally high trailer to take a peek. That other little Square there by the swing latch is about where he's going to put in the door handle and latch. Thanks for the pointing that out, Michael. <laughs> yes, you do make a good Vanna White. It's not something we see very often, kids riding bicycles down the street. It's hot out here in Arizona. It was only 99 degrees out here on Easter Sunday. 
Yes, I did say 99 degrees. So Mr. Gardner's inside with the ceiling ring and the little itty bitty screws that he's screwing into the sides. Well, the young man puts pressure on it and holds it in in here, out here. You gonna lock him in? Yeah, he can get his on that. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Dropped my battery. <sighs> Take a little photo up there of what he's doing. Very little. <laughs> Very narrow yeah, little channel the for the screw to go into. There we go. Sounds good. Do you need him to still push on the outside? No, it's just the battery. Cool. Oop. Yeah, I'll leave it last. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance, son. How many screws does that have? Twelve, Twelve screws. That's a goodly amount to hold it in place. Little bitty screws, huh? Yeah. I keep hearing them drop. A little narrow channel it has to go into. Ah. But now we got a window. The first window. What's that? Now we got the first window. Be putting one, maybe two more on there. Not sure yet. You can see the light from the inside, so it's got nice dark glass on it.